I've come across something lately that I must say I was overwhelmingly pleased to discover exists here on YouTube. And I was pleased not in the sense that I endorse this guy, nor in the sense that I can attest to his mental fitness or even his past and everything that's been said about him online. I want to stress that before we get started. My familiarity is introductory at best. I'm speaking, of course, of the Jehovah's Witness YouTuber, Mr. Daryl Weilberg. Why I'm pleased is, at least to the extent of my knowledge anyway, no other JW YouTuber, supposedly in good standing, exists. Mr. Weilberg, if you're watching, <laughs> who am I kidding? Of course you're watching. I would love to have a conversation slash interview with you on my channel. I realize this is a bit of a long shot, but I'm probably one of the mildest members of the ex-witness community who will actually give you a fair shake. But you have your comments turned off on all your videos, man, so I have no idea how to get in touch with you. I'll reiterate, I don't want to debate you, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, cornered, or attacked. I want to have a conversation with you. You may choose to see this the way you view all of the videos you post online, as an opportunity to express your faith, and I'm alright with that. Now you probably have some questions about me, most notably, am I an apostate? But before we get into that and other matters, we've got to do the jingle first. By the way, you really got to get yourself one of them jingles. Hey, good people. I'm Derek London. Thanks for checking out my channel. Around here, we talk about everything Law of Attraction. We discuss a lot about the psychological, scientific, and rational basis for subscribing to this philosophy of mine. And in fact, if your reality could stand some change for the better, you have only to start there, with your mind. Hit that subscribe button and settle in, because your life will never be the same. See, what was that, like 35 seconds? You gotta get yourself a jingle, man. It's real showbiz. Hey everyone, thanks as always for stopping in. For those of you who don't know Mr. Wildberg, let's allow him to introduce himself. Now this video is not approved by the Watchtower Bible Tract Society of Pennsylvania, www.jw.org. It's not approved by the eight faithful members of the governing body. They're located in uh, Warwick, New York, and it's not approved by the, any local body of elders. I work for Jesus Christ and Jehovah God Almighty, and they approved this video, and that's all that's really necessary. I don't work for any man. I don't, I don't answer to any man. I answer to Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us, call no man your leader. Well, if you can't call any man your leader, they're not your leader. <laughs> I wish you states would understand that. I wish a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses would understand that. The faithful and discreet slave, that governing body located there in Warwick, New York, are not our leaders. Period. Get over it. <laughs> so Mr. Wildberg has released just shy of like 300 videos on his YouTube channel. And when it comes to his opening comments, I actually agree with him. Even when I was a JW, I chafed to think that my personal salvation would come through these clearly fallible men in New York. And it's also accurate that the society, so far as I've seen anyway, has never sanctioned anyone to not post on YouTube. They've cautioned against misusing social media, just as they've cautioned against trying to shepherd or refute the claims of so-called apostates. Or something you'll see quite frequently happen on YouTube is when members and ex-members, without permission from the branch, post the Watchtower's music, convention parts, or broadcast clips. They will file a copyright claim or an order to cease and desist. So sure, they do stuff like that. But think about it. How can the society consistently tell their members to go there for and make disciples, to advertise God's kingdom, to be a public witness to all the nations, then simultaneously censor them from doing so on public platforms? So on this one point, I agree with them. How can Prince, Larry Graham, George Benson, and other celebrities write commercial music or go on national television waxing on about their faith in Jehovah? How can Katherine Jackson go on Oprah expressing her faith publicly? Or better yet, 
Serena Williams posed half-naked on Sports Illustrated, hobnob with Beyonce Knowles, twerk like Miley, and blab on about feminist politics, all while affirming her identity as a JW. But somehow Daryl Wilberg has to keep silent? Indeed, how could they consistently sanction members to not speak on social media and YouTube, but then encourage them to go door-to-door or stand behind a card? I'm not endorsing Mr. Wildberg, but why shouldn't he have a platform? I say all the power to him. There are a lot of accusations out there about this guy online. I mean, he's definitely an interesting fellow. He's been tangled up in several rows now with the ex-witness community. I don't agree, for instance, with how aggressive he's been towards certain people online. I don't like how he calls specific ex-witness women sluts. The thing I can say which rubbed me wrong at first you know, besides regurgitating all the Watchtower doctrines, was his use of the words moron, idiot, and stupid. It certainly rubbed me wrong initially. Well, it still kind of does, actually. In fairness, however, just on this one point, he also calls himself an idiot, certain elders morons. He said that the governing body has done stupid stuff in the past. So I could be wrong, but for the time being, I'm choosing to see this as a Brooklynism. Hey, poorly, you guinea rat, why you gotta be a bozo, huh? Something like that, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. If this is how you mean it, Mr. Wahlberg, well, hey, from one idiot to another, let's have a recorded interview. I'll tell you a few things about me. I'm not disfellowed, marked, or anything like that. I've simply faded away. My relationships with the witnesses I know are slightly estranged, but mostly intact. I'm only soft-shunned by a few people. I'm really in no worse for wear than you. After all, aren't there people who unfairly call you an apostate online? I'm critical of the governing body, to be sure. Deeply critical. I don't accept their authority in my life. However, I'm not an anti-witness activist either. I don't wish them to be banned. I'm on no crusade to undermine people's faith or speak abusively about my former church fellows. And I've even spoken at length praising the Jehovah's Witnesses for their contribution to civil liberties throughout the Western world and other admirable acts. I'm not out to draw followers after myself. Besides, even if I wanted, I have nothing to convert them to. If members are open to the other side of the argument, that's why I'm here. Based on what I've seen of you, we are similarly motivated. We both have a message that we think will benefit people. Big deal, right? You'll notice in my jingle earlier that the witnesses are not even my main subject. I produced north of about 140, 150 videos on the Law of Attraction prior to ever even mentioning the witnesses by name. And this is why, even by the convoluted and immensely inconsistent definition of apostasy found in the Watchtower, I still don't think I qualify as an apostate, not even by the society's standards. I did a video on that topic, which will be linked below in the description and in the end screen. But I'll leave that decision up to you. Contrary to what is a very popular sentiment, I don't wish this religion cease to exist. I would prefer to see it reform. And based on some of your comments, I think we're actually united on that point. As I say, this is probably a long shot, but I figured it was worth a try. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention a few things to those among the ex-witness community. Regardless of your opinion about Mr. Wahlberg, I mean, come on, by definition, he's bound to trigger a lot of people out there. He's still the only witness, supposedly in good standing, willing to tangle publicly with us. Likewise, when witnesses bait and disagree with us in the comments, here is some serious advice I have for XJWs. No matter how expedient it may be, no matter how tempting, no matter how much ammo they give you, For the love of God, try to resist telling them the Watchtower discourages that. They already know about it. In order for truth to emerge, there has to be a clash. Discouraging free thought, expression, and disagreement would be a classic example of winning the battle but losing the war. There's obviously a huge distance between the believer and one who's left. And I'm certain there are probably football fields between Mr. Wildberg's views from my own. But these are the ones, crass and polarizing as they can be at times, 
who are at least reaching out. As much as I disagree with Mr. Wahlberg's faith, I'd still love to have a chat with him. As for the rest of you, per usual, tell me what you think of all that below in the comments. Look, I know a number of you ex-dub creators can't stand this guy. There have been multiple spats online involving Mr. Wahlberg. Thanks for watching, Daryl. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, guys. Hey guys, did you like this video? You know what to do. And if something I mentioned today resonated with you, click one of them cards on this screen. I have lots of related content sure to interest you. Thanks as always for your views, and we'll see you next time.